Barney, I joined the company four or five years ago, and it's been a really busy few years. It seems that so much more goes into a branding project these days, with loads of different aspects to think about. So why do you think that is? I think it's because the market's changing, and then it, it continues to change. Um, there's a number of factors. Uh, we're seeing a lot more focus now from the brand managers and marketing teams in terms of what they are looking to achieve from branding programmes and the instructions that are coming through to us are so much more complex, both in terms of the actual technical demands of the design itself, as you know James better than anyone, um, and also the logistics of branding new vehicles, existing vehicles, swapping out older vehicles, the, 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 the scope of a branding project is now considerably um, wider than the mere graphic supply of perhaps 10, 15 years ago. So that's definitely a, a big part of it, um, you know, a real driver in the changing landscape and all that. Um, I think alongside that, the, the customer fleet teams are, are, are often restructuring or have restructured and changed in, in size and nature. Um, when we started in the business, um, it wasn't unusual for a large fleet operator to have um, several fleet engineers, fleet managers, more than one in some cases, heads of transport. Um, and that meant that, that there, was, um, there was a sense that each project was broken down and coordinated by the customer itself. I think these days that's changed um, for, for, all, for, for everyone in the fleet supply, um, including livery companies and graphics companies. And there's a real need for us and, and other companies in our market to have that project management capability. So now we're not only making and fitting the graphics, we're actually um, understanding how our fleet, our customers' fleet works and operates, and we are right at the center of that project set up and coordination, and then the, the, the rollout plan. So that's obviously brought um, a much, much, much bigger project management aspect to the work we do. Um, and then, Linked to that, really, is a vehicle supply chain that's becoming a lot more sophisticated. Um, some of the associate companies we work alongside in the conversion market, large dealer groups, certainly the motor manufacturers themselves, these businesses, their own processes and supply chains have evolved and improved. They're now able and increasingly looking to move vehicles through the system faster, more efficiently, um, and really challenging the status quo in terms of trying to prevent that um, old school approach of vehicles being stuck during conversion and then a slow registration process. Um, that's meant for us, we've had to be agile, quick on our feet, and be able to step up and work at the speed that they need us to work at to integrate with what they're doing. Um, we found, of course, that the best, the best way to achieve that is to have all aspects of what we do under one roof. So we're able to look after the artwork, the manufacturing, the fitting and so on, as you know. Um, and, and that gives us the speed and control to work, uh, to, to work and properly integrate with that supply chain. So yes, yeah, so there, there's, been, there's been sweeping changes really over the last four or five years. So do you think these market changes are here to stay? Yes, I do, I do. I think, I think the, the center of all of it is the simple fact that uh, Companies, fleet operators have realised and recognised the value in a well-branded vehicle fleet. It remains a hugely cost-efficient media marketing tool. Um, and I think now that we've reached that point, I don't see that changing in the foreseeable future. I see really companies driving to just keep extracting more and more value out of it. And as the branding systems improve and evolve, um, so too will the brand manager's ambitions creep up and up in terms of what they can, what they can do. So what do you think this means for Media Fleet then? <laughs> I, I guess at this point you're expecting me to roll out the, the uh, brand plan, the growth to 500 people and, and so forth. No, no, seriously, I think what it means is, is it's generally positive in that I think um, we've, we've had a, a strong year or two and we've taken the right steps with the business to set it up for the market that, that exists today. Um, we're working on some great projects, um, which, which we're obviously very, very grateful for. Um, but I think as ever, there, there are challenges, there are specific challenges this year, of course, as we will unfortunately know. So um, there are always going to be challenges. Uh, so for that reason, we, we can be quietly optimistic about exciting times ahead. 
but I think we need to remain focused, keep going as we are, and um, as ever, keep working hard.